Hey, this is Rick from Hiking Emergency Beacon, and today I want to talk to you about whether the new iPhone 14 is going to compete with the Garmin InReach satellite messengers. But before we get into that, please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. So I got my iPhone 14, and uh, as I do with all of my satellite messengers, I come out here and field test them. That is not happening today because the iPhone 14 is not active until November of 2022 and not everywhere in the world. It's only going to be active in uh, United States and Canada. The reason for this, I believe, is because they're using the global star network for their satellites versus the Garmin InReach products here that are using the InReach satellite network. The InReach satellite network is global pole-to-pole -pole coverage. Apple is using the global star as I said and it's the same thing that spot satellite messengers use and there are holes in the coverage. Now in heavily populated areas, North America, Europe, I think parts of Africa, maybe over by India and things like that, there is good coverage but there are holes in that coverage. So. Apple is going to have to um, convince Global Star to have global coverage, or they're going to have to switch to something else in the future. I'm not sure, but that's that's their decision, not mine. So here's some other things about the Apple SOS satellite service. It's free for the first two years for the iPhone 14 and uh, any other devices that use it. After that, you're gonna to have to pay. Now you do pay a subscription for the Garmin InReach products. And so you might say, hey, the, the iPhone's uh, free for the, the SOS, temporarily two years. My guess is that they, they, they wanna get people to buy the product and get used to it. And then after that, they're gonna start charging. That's just my opinion. The only thing the iPhone 14 will do right now with this SOS is two-way messaging to the emergency, emergency services. You cannot message family or friends. Now this is a negative for me because recently we've had some situations where we didn't need to call SOS or emergency services, but we did need to communicate with each other to help get uh, some people off the mountain. And, and so that being able to message each other is really important and really powerful. Now will Apple add that service in the future? I suspect so, but we'll have to wait and see. They're gonna roll things out over time. And in two, three, four years, maybe five years, are they gonna be a direct competitor with Garmin and other satellite messengers? They might be. I still think there's a difference whether you're an avid outdoorsman, you're a rock climber, you're climbing Mount Everest, you know, you're know, you out for extended periods of time, you're, you're still gonna want a satellite messenger. Uh, some people may be fine with the iPhone services that they offer, but um, that, that, that we'll have to wait and see exactly what happens. Back to the service that Apple provides. When you select the SOS feature, it'll tell you what direction of the sky to point the phone to to get your service. Good, but not so good actually, because the Garmin product, all you have to do is have a view of the sky and, and pretty much keep the antenna skyward. That gives you better service, but it's not super important. But it's, these Garmin's are finding maybe eight, nine, 10, 15 satellites all around the sky. And so you don't have to point them in, in any particular direction. The, uh, the iPhone 14, you do. That's not a problem if you're healthy. Maybe you're just lost and you know, maybe it's, it's gonna might be getting dark and so you're fine taking your phone and, and, and you have no broken legs, no problem. And you can point it to a section of the sky and you have to hold it there for a period of time. And as a satellite moves, you have to move with it. That's not a good idea when you're the one injured. If you've fallen over a cliff, maybe you're kayaking, there's an accident and you've got these rock walls, and yes, you gotta be out in the open as much as possible, but with this Garmin, you might be up against the rock wall, but you still have satellites over here you can get access to. If you're out, if you're, if you're using this phone and the rock wall is here or on both sides and the Garmin's getting maybe a few satellites directly ahead or to the side, but you have to go right here, but there's a massive rock wall. Okay, may have never happen to you, but it's gonna to happen to somebody. That's another problem with this that I don't like. Will they fix it in the future and get more satellites? My guess is they probably will. Hopefully they will. I would like to see Apple be successful with this. I'm not worried about the competition with Garmin. 
Garmin's a big company. They're going to figure out how to deal with this. I guarantee you people are over there right now are, are figuring out, well, Apple just came out with this. How are we going to stay relevant? What's some new products? How are we going to offset this? What are we going to do in the future? So I'm not worried about that. And I'm not trying to sell you on any particular thing. This channel has always been about telling you the truth, uh, field testing things and giving you my honest opinion about things. And, you know, if Garmin starts sliding downhill and doesn't uh, adjust to this, that's their issue. Other technologies are going to come to the surface and, and be advanced here in the future. You've got Elon Musk right now and Starlink, who's uh, just announced, I think last month, that they are now working with the cell phone service. So if you buy this, whatever cell phone service it is, and I'll have that on the screen, then you'll have for free, at least temporarily, you'll have access to the Starlink system worldwide. And uh, again, you don't have to be in cell service. Uh, so that's something else Garmin needs to be concerned about, I think. And it's not not just Garmin, it's ACR Bivy Stick, it's Zolio, somewhere Global Hotspot, it's all the above spot, but it's all these different companies that have to make adjustments here. Maybe they don't, maybe they're gonna be fine. Well, let's get to the bottom line here. Can Apple and the iPhone 14 compete today with Garmin and other satellite messengers? Absolutely not, no way. Will they compete with them in three, four, five years? Possibly. They may take part of the market share with other people who don't need all this, uh, everything that the, the satellite messengers provide. These things are, a lot of them are waterproof, they're dustproof, uh, they are abrasion resistant, impact resistant. Now you can say, well, I'll, I'll get something like uh, an otter case and, I, and waterproof and I can, you can do that. Sure, absolutely. Here's another thing to think about. These iPhone 14s, and I think these are a bit better on the battery, what I've seen so far, the iPhone 11 would give me a day and a half of battery life. The 14 seems to be a bit stronger than that, so, but two days max. And if you're communicating with satellites and the rescue teams, it's gonna take up more battery. You should always have a charger with you. But what my, my real point is, is, comes to here is, is I've always been about having something that uh, can get you access to communication and search and rescue teams in the mountains. It's rugged, it's meant for the outdoors, has a long battery life. This Mini 2 uh, battery life is up to two weeks, maybe longer, depending on how you use it. The Garmin Messenger, which I just bought, it can go up to about a month. And, and so you get a lot longer battery life with these silent messengers than you do with any of the phones that I'm aware of. Just pay attention to that and be aware of that. Plus the coverages, you don't have worldwide coverage. Now, how's it gonna work out in the future? I don't know, but this channel, what I'm gonna bring you here is, it's all about what's happening with technology, with new satellite messengers coming out. I just bought the Garmin Messenger and you're gonna see reviews, field tests on that very soon, this week. Then I just also bought the uh, the Garmin Phoenix 7X. That was a big hit to my pocketbook, but I am going to be testing that and see because that one has topo uh, maps on the, on the on the device. It's the largest of the watches, the adventure watches. You can I, I believe you can SOS and two way message from it. Plus you can sync to the the satellite messengers for the for Garmin. Uh, I'll they'll be bringing those to you here in about a week or two. I want to bring you the, the newest technology, what's out there, compare them against each other and tell you, you know, what, what, uh, what's the best ones, what's, the, what's their strengths, what's uh, their weaknesses, and I'll always bring you that information. So stay with me on this channel as things come up because I'm going to continue bringing that information to you as I see it and research it. If you see something and I'm not covering it, please leave a comment, let me know because this is a very interactive channel where I've had people, a lot of subscribers that will say, hey, Hey, have you tried this? What is it? Does this work? Uh, and, and then I'll go out and I'll test it because I don't know everything about these satellite messengers. I tend to use them a particular way. There's other things about them. So, so please leave a comment below because I'll answer those questions and research it and get back to you. Not just with the answer. A lot of times I'll make a video and I'll put the link in the, in the, in the, in the response to you and say, Hey, I did the video here. It is in the field. Here's what happened. And here's the answer. That's all I really want to talk to you about today is what I've found out so far. I'm not the expert on this. Please don't call me the expert. I am just doing my best to cover this information and bring it to you. As I see things happen in the future, I'll bring that to you and, and, and have videos here. So follow me here if you don't mind. Please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos because I'm always covering new stuff. And I appreciate you sticking with me so far. So I will see you back out here in Colorado soon.